get started. Uh, so my extemporary topic is political leadership uh, versus corporate leadership. So basically political leadership is uh, like uh, leading a party. Uh, it could be national party or a state party, thereby leading the party into elections. And if that party comes in power, so uh, they're like leading the state as a CM or maybe uh, through center, like through the rules of PM or any cabinet minister per se. And as far as corporate leadership is concerned, uh, we have leadership in uh, industry and uh, uh, MNCs, like organizations, uh, where, where they, they are leading their teams and organizations, like across verticals and horizontals. They are responsible for uh, making the organization relevant. Like, for example, uh, these in the pandemic times, uh, things have been uh, changing a lot. So it's like, like the duty of uh, corporate uh, leaders to make the com like make the organization relevant and so that it's still profitable. Like they need to like uh, uh, they are responsible for each and every uh, domains and uh, and work. Uh, so basically, if we uh, compare political leadership and corporate leadership, we can like we can see a lot of comments. Uh, for example, like a lot of ethical, uh, if we can say that values are very, really necessary. For example, integrity, emotional intelligence, uh, persuasion, uh, public leadership skills, and also like motivating the motivating the employees or the party cadre, or for example, even if they are in leadership, uh, leadership positions, thereby how they are leading the country or, or their organization. Uh, if a political leadership is like, uh, it, it goes into wrong hand, it, it could have serious uh, reper repercussions. And similarly for corporate leadership as such, it, it is also the same. So there's, there need to be also like some checks and balances. How could we like not give unlimited power to political leadership and so in corporate leadership, there are checks and balances. There are both board of directors and uh, checks and balances at every level. Uh, but in India, we have a democratic setup. If some party is in like a complete, like a uh, huge majority, then it could be like a leader could be like uh, also not bypassing cabinet and stuff. So we need to maintain uh, a delicate balance between uh, of political leadership versus okay thank you